say I lose of lukewarmness and prayerlessness fired inside of me by fire in the name of Jesus. I rose of lukewarmness and prayerlessness fired inside of me by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. By fire now for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you because you are God. Lord, we come to your presence, O Lord. Blessed be your holy name in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, because it is written in the book of Psalm 37, verse 4, that delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give the desire of the heart. Father, Lord, let the desire of your children in the name of Jesus be given, O Lord. Teach us your word and open our understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. At the end of everything, let us have the cause to glorify your name. For in Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Children of God, before we continue our prayer, I want us to look at the word prevailing prayers. Prevailing prayers. When we talk about prevailing prayers, this is prayer of champion. And prayer has so many definitions, with all of them pointing to its power and efficacy. Prayer has been described as the master key. This means that it has power to open all doors, good doors that has been locked, and lock all open doors of the wicked ones. Prayer is the staff of Christian. For you to have a victorious life, you must be a prayer person, children of God. Today, many don't have time to pray, no time to worship God, no time to communicate with God. You are robbing God. Will a man rob God? That does not alone mean money. It's not when you steal that you rob God. When you fail to pay your tithe, it's not only that, it means prayer, love, and service. It means also your time for God. When you fail to call on God, you are missing a lot of things. God wants us to be a praying people and to take hold of the own of the altar. We must have this spirit of prayer in us. When we look at the life of Jacob, Let's open our Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 32, reason for verse 24 to 28, book of Genesis. And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the oars of his tide, and the oars of Jacob's tide was out of joint, and he wrestled with him, and he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men, and has prevailed. Children of God. When Jacob has sent his family and his good across the brook, he rested and prevailed with God. Till daybreak, his prayers went through and pierced the heaven and went beyond the star and touched the throne of God. And down came the answer. The angels will have left Jacob, but he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And the angel said, As a priest has that power with God and with men, and has prevailed. I pray for you wherever you are. You shall prevail in the name of Jesus. But the question that you need to ask yourself, Have you rest you all night? Do you have the time to pray to God? This is the kind of people God is blessing and pouring out a spirit upon People who will prevail, and after prevailing and wrestling, they will not let the blesser go until they receive the answer. God honor prayer, 
and God honor people who pray. And when they prevail till break of day, the heaven will open and they will receive the blessing. I pray for you wherever you are. You shall receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. And all your prayer shall not be in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Children of Another example in the Bible is King Ezekiel. Exceptionally life of prayer is a pointer to what God do in the life of those who can pray. But Bible may also understand in the book of James chapter 5 verse 16b we says the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much children of god king ezekiel in the bible was righteous king who trusted in the lord the god of israel that's why it was recorded that god was with him and prosper his way i pray for you wherever you are god shall arise and prosper your way in the name of jesus before we pray another personality that we need to look at is daniel this is the man that prayed three times a day he go down on his knee three times to pray to worship god children of god I want us to note that Daniel did not become an emergency prayer warrior so that the lion would not make him their dinner. He had already cultivated the habit of prayer before that time. Prayer was practically second nature to Daniel. He was recorded concerning Daniel according to the book of Daniel chapter 6 verse 10b that he knew upon his knee three times a day and pray and gave thanks before his God as he did before time. Children of God, are you ready to cultivate the habit of prayer? The king discovered the power of prayers in the life of Daniel. He discovered a prevailing prayer in the life of Daniel. Let's open our Bible to the book of Daniel chapter 6, reading from verse 20 to verse 23. Book of Daniel. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spoke and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is that God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lion? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angels and assured the lion mouth that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no aunt. Then was the king exceedingly glad for him, and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den, and no manner of words was found upon him, because he believed in his God. I pray for you wherever you are. The name of God shall not fail you. In the name of Jesus. It is time for people to see the outcome of your prayer. They need to see it in your life. They have been calling you different names. People call you big boss. But within you, the reverse seems to be the case. They have been calling you a sort of name. A good name. But it's not manifesting in your life your case is probably like that of Dabish, and you need to rise up with only anger and reject everything that is working contrary to the god plan for your life you need to cry loud for the purpose of god for your life to manifest it is god that can turn around your situation i want you to know there is no hopeless situation there are only men and women who have grown hopeless about their situation. What God cannot do does not exist wherever you are. A prayerless person is a powerless person. Children of God, don't give up on God. He has not and he will never give up on you. Are you ready to pray? Paraventure, you are listening under the sound of my voice. You have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ before. But now you backslided, or you have not given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ at all. This is a great opportunity for you to accept Jesus as your Lord and your personal Savior. Tomorrow might be too late. 
are you ready if you have made a bed i want to accept jesus into your life before we start this prayer i want you to lay your right on your chest and you will say last time you say father i come before you now lord jesus come into my life take control of my life as from today i say bye bye to the devil i enter into the kingdom of light in the name of jesus amen i congratulate us we have made the right choice for our life let us open our mouth a bit to confess and say father forgive me every known and unknown sin in my life father forgive me O lord in the name of jesus have mercy O lord in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray amen father in the name of jesus heavenly father we thank you for the life of those that accepted jesus into their life today accept them O lord in the name of jesus Father, Lord, forgive every known and unknown sin. Baptize them with your Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, have mercy, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Wherever you are, open your mouth and give thanks to God. Magnify the name of the Lord. Glorify the name of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus, hallelujah, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus, wherever you are, you will shout loud and clear. Say, powers, challenge the power of God in my life. Die in the name of Jesus, powers, challenge the power of God in my life die in the name of Jesus powers challenge the power of God in my life die 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 in the name of Jesus die now in the name of Jesus die now in Jesus mighty name we pray amen say oh God arise answer your name and defend your interest in my life in in the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, answer your name, and defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, answer your name, and defend your interest in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. Say powers to wait on the Lord without murmuring and complaining. Come upon my life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray now in the name of Jesus. Power to wait on the Lord without murmuring and complaining. Come upon my life in the name of Jesus. Come upon my life. Power to wait on the Lord without murmuring and complaining. Come upon my life in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray amen say my service and prayers to god shall not be in vain in the name of jesus my fathers and prayers to god shall not be in vain in the name of jesus my service and prayer to god shall not be in vain in jesus mighty name we pray amen say father make me mighty in prayer in the order of a Elijah, in the name of Jesus, Father, make me mighty in prayer, in the order of Elijah, in the name of Jesus, Father, make me mighty in prayer, in the order of Elijah, in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen, say, oh Lord, this year, by your mercy, let me take contribution for my prayers, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, oh Lord, this year, by your mercy, let me take contribution for my prayers in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, this year, let me take contribution for my prayers in the name of Jesus, let me take contribution for my prayers in the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. I decree upon your life wherever you are, you shall not be useless, you shall be useless useful for God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
Amen.